Hi guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to BMW stand here in Frankfurt Motor Show where the main star is this of course, the new third generation of the X6. Now when we first saw the first generation in 2008 it was very brave in terms of design and they are continuing uh, to go towards that path uh, in the BMW. So basically we have a brave design, unusual look, uh, modern technology, car sits on the same platform as the X5 but you do get you no know, much braver design I would say it looks very muscular very modern so on the front you do have the new laser lights from BMW and I love those they look very good sort of like a designer lights in my opinion but big talk is gonna be uh, over this so the front kidneys not only did they grow they are now glowing in the dark so you have the illuminated front grille I will show you how much it is illuminated on the other car which is in the dark room but it's really a new trend on the market tell me guys what do you think about that uh, what do you think about this new trend as a lot of manufacturers will start to offer this soon as a matter of fact there's a new 5 series also available with the new illuminated grille so let's go to the side of the car car is almost 5 meters long uh, and the wheelbase is also increased um, when we compare it to the predecessor wheels go from 19 to 22 inch ones and those here i believe are 22 inch right there they are 22 as this is the strongest petrol version m50i to have the m performance brakes and also the m badge over here okay now you can see from the side this coupe line of the roof so interesting design of the c pillar okay so this is the rear of the car and as you can see it is pretty pretty brave in terms of design i mean they have a huge led lights they go all the way almost touching each other uh, they are separated by this bmw logo and they are very slim and they make the car look even wider than it is and it's pretty pretty wide you also have this additional spoiler fixed spoiler over here and the massive massive glass surface is also here now let us move on to this part so as you can see trapezoid shape of the exhaust it's real exhaust finally a good job BMW in the world of fake exhaust it's nice to see a real one you also have this diffuser over there and overall uh, I think the car is uh, very bravely designed uh, it will fight the brand new GLE coupe which has also been introduced at the Mercedes stand I also did a review on that so do check it out and tell me in the comments which one would you go for so would you go for this the BMW X6 or the new Mercedes GLE or maybe Porsche Cayenne coupe so guys what do you think about the exterior design of this car once again very slim LEDs very wide but now I think it's time to open the trunk so that you can see how much space there is there you have it 560 liters so this may be a coupe style SUV but you do get a lot of uh, space over here let's see this some extra space in there then you also have some hooks here 12 volt so overall well I must say it's practical really uh, for coupe style SUV once again uh, let's close this now I'll try to film uh, the interior as soon as we'll be able to step inside it's time to step inside of the car but I will show you all the details that you have here now you will immediately I can actually feel the quality of materials superb uh, you do have sort of carbon over there then you have the lock keys here I love the design of the door handle then also you are greeted with the M50i badge over here on the door seal and also what we do have here is completely new layout so digital cockpit in front of the driver main screen also digital you do have the nice leather seat here and uh, let's step inside and show you all the details okay so let's take a closer look at everything that is available here inside a lot of new technology i love the design of the new bmws uh, from inside so let's start things off with this new digital cockpit at first i didn't like it when i first saw it but now 
it is growing on me it's a really good one so you have the speed over there and the rev counter on your right and in the middle you can choose between uh, different uh, you know uh, views that you can have for example you can have navigation here or some driving information which you need you also have a fuel gauge over there and the uh, oil temperature over there at the right then we have this very nice m sport steering wheel it's optional of course with the m sport package inside uh, you also have this uh, heating of the steering wheel button there nice flappy pedals and overall feels good in the hand i also love the design of this uh, optional bowers and wilkins sound system and it's illuminated during the night and it uh, goes uh, it lights just like the music it's really a cool one cool feature and moving on to this so this is the main screen of the car also 12.3 inch where you have all the different uh, all the main information that you need and it's a good thing that you can control everything with actually three ways so one is this button which i would prefer this is the classic bmw layout so as you can see everything is controllable here then you can also do it like this very very responsive indeed so the screen as you can see we're at the frankfurt at the motor show but the screen is very fast i would you know uh, rather change everything here because it is much more uh, you know easier and that uh, you don't get the fingerprints on your screen now third way is the bmw personal assist which is actually artificial intelligence system which uses artificial intelligence of course for some of the features which can respond to your needs and you can uh, you just say hey bmw and then it will uh, react when you of course start the car and then you can change the ac you can you know have various settings adjusted but i love the fact that you can also change the ac here so look at this it's so easy to use uh, this one because in the uh, new for example audi models and all the other manufacturers they are going towards all the digital cockpits so without any buttons but i think that there should be buttons for the ac as that is something that we use often and you don't want to get your eyes off the road in order to change the ac settings so i love the fact that they keep this uh, sort of old school a bit old school but looks very nice i also love this sort of carbon element here the leather uh, dashboard is very very good and quality you also have this bowers and wilkins uh, over here so addition to the speakers over there let's check out this uh, main thing here so you do have this gear lever it's optional but it's so so nice it looks like a piece of art in my opinion this is the best looking gear lever on the market right now and uh, tell me guys what do you think is it too much maybe you have the x sign inside but overall really really nice i love the fact that you have all these uh, driving modes here available because uh, let's face it you will often change the different driving modes while you are driving and as you can see here we have the eco pro adaptive uh, auto sport and so on so a lot of uh, options for the drivers and you also have this uh, electronic parking brake here start stop uh, engine button is here and you can turn off the traction control over there so additional space is here so you have the dual cup holders and look at this you can have them uh, you know vented if you want to your your drinks to be cold uh, you can uh, turn this on and also look at this this is where you have your wireless charging for the phone and now as you can see it's working it's charging my phone as we speak usb port is over here and let's open this so you do have some extra storage space here an additional usb c port over here so what else can i show you let me show you the layout of so this is the home screen this is your media a big screen and uh, then map you can have just the map navigation communication so you can pair of course uh, this car with uh, the apple carplay or android auto and overall there are a lot of options for this car you can also see now the ambient lightning 
over here let me open the glove box for you decent amount of space over here but yeah it looks very very cool with these ambient lights let me just grab my phone so i don't you know forget it you also have this carbon fiber here and overall really really dominant looking and uh, i think bmw nailed it with the interiors these days they do have some of the best interiors in the world so let's check out the space at the rear so this is the rear bench you do have some exciting things here also okay so first of all look how awesome do these speakers from optional bowers and wilkins sound system look then you also have the screen in front of you and let me turn that on so you have a bunch of information here a bunch of different stuff that you can do so you can change the music uh, you can even watch tv you do have let's go to the main menu you do have of course the navigation here weather in frankfurt today local traffic situation and uh, well basically you can control a lot of things from this screen and uh, it is actually huge i believe it's the same one as on the front of the car you do have some settings of the car also available here so brightness of the display let's uh, go let's increase that also you do have let's see this whether we can so you can change the music theater mode you can also let's see this so what else can we change in the car settings okay so this is what i wanted so the interior lightning and i'm changing it look at this i don't know if you can see it now it's purple and uh well yeah this is where you change it bunch of options see orange white we'll leave it in blue because i think uh, this is the most elegant and uh, well yeah really awesome thing to have here this is of course the optional uh, look at the ambient light so you have the lightning here you have the lightning here on the door handles uh, you also have you actually have a cd port here then you have uh, the switches for the ac at the back so let's uh, for example turn it on you can change the temperature on this button and overall look also have the ambient lights for my feet and uh, well yeah since the car has increased wheel uh, base now it means it i have more room for my legs i have around this more space for my head uh, this car has the sunroof you do have very nice indeed uh, led over there so yeah i'm really feeling comfortable in this uh, new bmw x6 especially with these screens uh, this is the view i have on the front so overall great looking car a uh, bunch of interior features i must say that technology is insane inside and uh, it is really a special place to be well i'm sure a lot of customers will enjoy this car tell me guys in the comment what do you think about this front illuminated grille and now let's go here and see some of the specs so base price of this car 99,000 euros total price of this exact model so we are talking about m50i 134,000 with all the extras that we have here you can also learn more exterior color you have manhattan metallic color then you have bmw individual leather trim inside carbon fiber interior which is the carbon that we saw uh, in the inside so let's go back this is not working so well but yeah you have the entertainment package so for bowers and wilkins you do need to pay extra 4500 euros so that's a bit crazy okay so this is the strongest petrol version available right now 530 horsepower however if you want even stronger one you have to wait there will be x6m and x6m competition they will probably have more than 600 horsepower that's really really crazy and of course with this car you have various petrol and diesel en engines uh, available uh, so you don't need to go for this 
a powerful car you can have a regular diesel inside but yeah so that was the first look at the all-new x6 tell me in your comments what do you think about it do subscribe to the channel as you can see we're at the bmw stand a lot of new content uh, will be available soon so one series uh, and all the other cars interesting uh, are also here subscribe see you on the next one thank you for watching bye bye